All right, so I recently got asked if you can make a satin stitch star in ink stitch, the whole star being satin stitch, and I say yes, you can. I'm going to show you one way you can do that, and this varies a little bit on what size finished product you're trying to do, how much detail you're trying to get in it, but I'm just going to show you an overview. So I'm just going to start with a star made in Inkscape. There's our star, and then down here i'm going to change the opacity on it so that it's so i can see through it just like that you're gonna have to actually create this star and you're just using this as a template i'm gonna grab this i'm gonna start down inside the body a little ways and hit enter again hit enter i'm gonna adjust that so that it's a little bit more right. Okay, that should work. I'm gonna grab that uh, pencil tool. I'm gonna press the first position, hold down the left control button, slide it across, and it's gonna make a nice straight line. Click, control, drag, click. Again, click, control, drag, click. Now I have several straight lines for my rungs. I'm going to go in here and select all three of these. I'm going to select that bottom one first. I'm going to hold the shift button and then I'm going to select the top one. And then we're going to control K, which is combine. You can also get to that by path, combine. And then we're going to go into ink stitch params. From here, I'm going to do several things for this specific design. First thing you got to do is you got to turn it into a custom satin column. There it is, custom satin column. Now I actually want it to come from top down. So instead of going out and reversing rails, you can do that right here. Reverse rails, change it from automatic to reverse both rails. Now it's going in a downward direction, which is what I want. Oh, I gotta turn, bring it back up. Ink, skit, ink stitch params. Okay, the reason I needed to bring it back up is because number one, on this particular design, I want, I'm going to have one, two, three, four segments. And I'm going to have a lock stitch at the beginning of the, of the first segment, lock stitch at the end of the fourth segment, and it's all going to be tied together. So, allow lock stitches both. I'm going to change that to before. So now it lock stitches up here, but not down here. It ends on the left hand side, need to take note of that because we're going to run running stitches from where it ends. Hit quit, hit apply and quit. Now we're going to run a running stitch down to about here. That needs to be a quick running stitch, so we're going to go into, into a fill and stroke. And then we're going to change the uh, dashes to some kind of a dash, doesn't matter. Just as long as it's a dash. That turns it into a running stitch, ink stitch params. We are going to change allow lock stitches to neither. And that should be all we need. Hit apply and quit. Okay, good and good. So from here, we're basically gonna read, remake this. So what you could do is actually just take this, press control D to duplicate it, bring it down here, click it again to get our little turn on, turn handles and spin it around. This is going to need a little bit of adjustment to do what we needed, but we're going to get pretty close. Outstanding. Now the adjustment that's going to be needed I need to bring this up. So I'm going to go with back to this tool. I'm going to zoom in. We're going to double click this so that I make a, a new handle or a new node. There's my new node. I'm going to adjust that node down a little bit. I'm going to bring this up just about like that.
And then we're going to turn that one so that it's about here. And then we're going to turn this one so it's about here. All right. Done and done. Now we're going to take a look at that in params. Going the right direction, making the turn proper like. That looks pretty good. Um, we should still have lock stitch before. Yep, lock stitch before, so I want lock stitch neither. And then we got to see where it ends. It ends on the wrong side. So in that case, we want to swap rails. And now it should end on the left hand side. Outstanding. Hit apply and quit. We're going to go from there and we're going to run down here with another running stitch, make it dashes, go into extensions, ink stitch params, and do the allow lock stitches neither, once again. Outstanding. Now I did turn off the lock, lock stitches on that, right? Most of my time is spent going back, making sure I did something that I should have done. Okay, I did neither. Good, good, good. Now, since we have it already highlighted, I'm going to go Control D for duplicate, and I'm going to flip it over, and then drag it over, and we should be right about where we need to be. Pretty darn close. Click it again for my little turn handles. Line it up. Outstanding. Oh, we're so close. Now that one should be all that we need. We just need to make sure where, where it ends and it should end in the middle. As we flipped it, we're gonna go extensions, ink stitch params. We're gonna check a couple things. Number one, we're gonna check um, allow lock stitches as neither. It's true and it's ending on the right hand side. It's really doesn't matter which way it ends. I'm gonna hit apply and quit. If it ended on the left hand side, we're just gonna run from there. Since it's on the right hand side, we're going to grab. Okay, since it's on the right hand side, we're going to go from there. We're going to go from somewhere in that neighborhood to right about here. Hit enter. Go fill in stroke, do dashes. Go to extensions, each stitch params. And uh, we're going to allow lock stitches neither. Hit apply and quit. Good, good. Now from here, we're going to draw all the way across. Just like that. And hit enter. Now, if you wanted to make, if you wanted to make sure that you wanted, that you're following this exact design, what you can do is go here and then here and then here and then finish out. That works too. Now we're gonna go from here, down to here, over to here, and then up to there. Now we need to draw some rungs, and I'm holding control to make sure it's a straight line. Click, control, click, click, Control click and click control click just like that. Now I need to figure out uh, how did that happen? Let's try it again. Click control click. All right, so I need to find out which one. Okay, that's my running stitch over to here, and that's my first line over. So holding the shift button, clicking the top, the top one. Selects all of them, control K for combine. You can also do path combine, extensions, ink stitch params. Jump in here, go to the satin column folder and hit custom satin column. Now on this one, on the uh, allow lock stitches, we want after. That's it. Hit apply and quit. We are done, done. So let's see what this thing looks like. And we have been recording for 10 minutes. 
I might be able to hit it six or seven minutes if I'm not doing an instructional, but still pretty quick, even 10 minutes. Because if you're doing multiple stars, now you can take this star and duplicate it and do what you need to do. So we're going to go ink stitch. We're going to do simulator. I'm going to fast forward. Okay, def okay, I know what I did. I still have the fill design behind, so we need to get rid of that. Now, extensions, ink stitch, I have done that before. Okay, now we've got some satin stitches going. Alrighty, looks good, looks good. And there is your satin stitch star. And then we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go into params on the whole design. You can actually adjust params on the whole design. And I'm going to tighten up that stitch just a little bit. So 0.35, something like that. Hit apply and quit. Let's go back to the preview. Fast forward. And there you go. That is our satin stitch star. Now this is actually really small. This is only 340 stitches. What is my design size? Millimeters, 22 millimeters. Inches, a uh, little over three quarters of an inch. So that's pretty small. Anyway, that's what you get with a satin stitch star. I hope that helped you out. I know I did that pretty fast, but uh, anytime, you know, you get stuck, hard to follow along, beauty of YouTube, pause it, rewind it, watch it all you want to. But uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. As always, thanks for watching.